Hi there, football lovers! The finalists of Euro 2024 have been determined. Spain versus England. Share your predictions in the comments down below and we'll begin. Let's get the show on the pitch! England, made by Garth Southgate, has reached the finals of two out of four major tournaments. Didier Deschamps will stay on as France head coach until the 2026 World Cup. Kefran Turam has joined Juventus. The contract is valid until 2029. The salary is 2.5 million euros per year. His transfer fee is 20 million, which has to be paid over the next three financial years. Co-owners of Newcastle United, Amanda Staveley and Merhudad Gudusi, will leave the club in the near future. Their 6% stake will be sold. Fenerbahce agreed deal to sign a Land Saint Maximin on loan from Al Ali. The player will receive a lower salary in Turkey, but was convinced about Mourinho's project after direct conversations with him. Gard Selgid has become the first coach in the whole history of Euros to have 13 consecutive games with no defeats. Germany legend Thomas Müller has decided to retire from international duty. Spain is a great team. They have great squad depth, just like us. This is the most important game of our lives, but now we want to celebrate. We are ready for Spain, Oli Watkins claimed. The Netherlands crashed out of Euro 2024, repeating their best results since 2004, when they also suffered a semi-final defeat. Barcelona have returned from vacation. However, the Catalans have cancelled afternoon's training session due to extreme heat, 30 degrees Celsius. Mudrik has no value anymore. He is a lost cause and Chelsea won't make any money on him, frankly buff said. Napoli have confirmed the signing of Real Madrid centre-back Rafa Marin, who can also play on the left. The transfer fee will reach 12 million euros and the contract will last until the summer of 2029. Thiago Alcantara will work with Hansi Flick and his staff for a few days or weeks to help them transfer concepts to the players and also contribute his point of view. If Spain win the Euros and Argentina win the Copa America, the two nations will meet in the finalissima. Felipe Coutinho completes loan move to Vasco da Gama from Aston Villa. It's a feeling of great happiness. I lived abroad for a long time, so it really is a feeling of coming home. To the place where I grew up. To the place I love. The club I love. Coutinho says. Clement Langley already knows that he will not continue at Barca. The club have told him to look for a new team as soon as possible. The German Football Federation consider that Manuel Neuer will continue to start over Ter Stegen in the 2026 World Cup. Benfica have asked Joao Felix to wait for them to collect the required transfer fee to complete his signing. Juventus are still keen on the signing of Jadon Sancho. The footballer wants to move to Juventus only. During medical check at Borussia Dortmund, Sergio Gerasi was diagnosed with an injury. It requires further investigation. Marseille's negotiations with Mason Greenwood have slowed down due to the mayor's comments. Lazio are hoping to take advantage of the situation, while Marseille are still trying to convince Greenwood, Gianluca Di Marzio informs. Mundo Deportivo writes that Chelsea's Mark Guillou will head to Sevilla on loan for the next season. Kane scored against the Netherlands from the penalty spot and became the all-time top scorer in knockout games in the European Championship. It was Harry's sixth goal. PSG offered Juventus 20 million euros for Dean Huysen. The White and Blacks want at least 30 million for their footballer. Fulham have allowed defensive midfielder Joao Polina to pen a contract with Bayern Munich until 2028. Florian Plattenberg writes, Real Sociedad midfielder Mikel Merino is in Arsenal's sphere of interest. The Gunners head coach Mikel Arteta likes Merino, he admires his talent and physicality. AS Roma have recruited Stad Ren midfielder and Solifi for 23 million euros. Midfielder Kabi Mainu started for England in the Euro 2024 semi final tie against the Netherlands. Aged 19 years and 82 days, Kabi Mainu became the youngest Englishman to feature in a major tournament semi final. Gary Neville believes that the penalty in the Euro 2024 semi final match between the Netherlands and England was awarded by mistake. As a defender, I think the penalty was an absolute disgrace, stated the former Three Lions defender. Al Idihat are in talks with Laurent Blanc to appoint him as their manager after the failure of reaching an agreement with Stefano Pioli. It's also reported that Xavi rejected the offer from the Saudi side. 
France winger Kingsley Coman is considering international retirement, Lekip writes. The player is only 28 years old. I swear on my life. I swear on my kid's life. I said to Cole Palmer, we are coming on and you are gonna set me up today. Only Watkins shared after the match. Olympic Marseille and Leicester City are keeping tabs on Eddie and Katia. The Olympians have made first steps towards the possible signing the striker. Although talks are still at an early stage, the first contacts are positive and Nketiah is ready to switch clubs. Thierry Mabile is close to joining Besiktas. The striker has to ink a contract until 2026. Lazio will receive 3 million euros for the performer, while Chiro will earn 6 million euros a year at Besiktas. Southgate has reached the second final of a major tournament in his career, more than all previous England managers combined. Folks, it's time to subscribe to our channel and leave this video a like. Thank you. And now let's look at the results of yesterday's fixtures. At the Copa America, Argentina predictably reached the final, defeating Alfonso Davies' Canada with a 2-0 score. Alvarez and Messi were the ones responsible for goals. Meanwhile, the second Euro 2024 finalist was decided. England clinched a come-from-behind victory after trailing earlier through a stunner from Travis Simmons. Firstly, Harry Kane managed to equalize from the spot kick, and in the 90th minute, Watkins scored the match-winning goal after an assist from Palmer. Spain vs England in the final. What a blockbuster clash will it be! Moving on to other news of the release. Fabrizio Romano has provided the latest updates on Nico Williams' move to Barcelona. Active contacts from Barcelona to try and bring in Nico Williams. They are continuing to work and dream on this transfer. After Sunday's final, the winger will speak with his agents and those close to him about his future. Nico must decide, the top insider told. AC Milan are set to take Real Madrid midfielder Arda Guller on loan. The Serie A outfit is looking for candidates to bolster its attack, and one of them is the 19-year-old Turk. Among other things, Rossoneri want to repeat the case with Brahim Diaz, who spent two years on loan as part of the Italian club's roster and thus gained experience in senior football. Perhaps Los Blancos head coach Carlo Ancelotti enjoys this idea, so he will not resist the transfer. Our dying turn has no wish to leave the Spanish giants. Manchester United's official offer of more than 50 million euros for Lenny Euro was accepted by Lille yesterday. What's more, the Mastiffs are insisting with Euro to accept Man United as its best proposal on their table. However, Real Madrid remains as active participants in the race for the French centre-back signature, as the player himself dreamed of moving to the Santiago Bernabeu. Chelsea are preparing to pull off more high-profile transfers in the very near future. According to Bilt, the Blues are already in talks with Borussia Dortmund over Karim Ademi. Besides, the Mirror insists that they are willing to pay RB Leipzig the release clause included in Dani Almo's contract, which is £50 million. PSG have presented a proposal of €90 million Euros plus one player to Benfica for João Neves, CNN Portugal informs. The Portuguese side will most likely reject this offer as they insist on paying the full amount of the release clause for the 19-year-old midfielder, 120 million euros. Manchester United are considering signing forwards Ivan Toni from Brentford or Dominic Calvert-Lewin from Everton, the Athletic writes. The Red Devils intend to bolster their attacking line due to the departure of Frenchman Anthony Martial. The 28-year-old Tony has a one-year contract with Brentford and is likely to leave the club this summer. Manchester United are also finalizing the recruitment of Jojo Azirgzi from Bologna. The Italian club would reportedly receive 40 million euros for his services. Lamin Yamal is not for sale. Barca have already rejected a 250 million euros bid from PSG. Clubs can admire him, but he is untouchable. He has already agreed with Barca that when he turns 18 in 2025, his contract will automatically be extended until 2030. Folks, check out other suggested videos from our channels. Have a great time watching!